Hello, hello everyone, MVL here, and today we are playing Resident Evil Umbrella Corps, specifically the single player content, the experiment on the PlayStation 4. Let's press any button and begin. Alright, here we go. So, how am I supposed to say I have beaten every single Resident Evil game when well, that's a damn lie and there's this little known of single player content in this multiplayer game there's been updates okay good stuff they've added some extra content I don't really care about any of the content I'm not gonna play an online match what I'm interested in is the experiment but I've never played this game so you get to watch me beat it live wait choice of words nevertheless I am gonna beat this um, by hook or by crook um, I will need to play a tutorial never played this before and uh, there are some single-player missions in the experiment so yes this is technically single-player Resident Evil content I have not defeated I have done every single-player single-player Resident Evil game up to this point so let's do it learn the basic knowledge needed to survive on the battlefield yes that sounds correct this is a uh, shooter game Zombies won't bother you as long as zombie jammer is functioning. Ooh. Experiments have been designed to weed out those who will be of no use to us. You'll most likely die during the training. Well, lab rat, which one are you? Who are you? Oh, hello. Okay, so. Complete all mission objectives. I will say I like the music. Okay, sprint. Move camera. Zombie jammer. Zammer will allow you to move free of zombie perception. If it is damaged, the zombies will target you. They will also target you if they attack you. Okay. So the zombie jammer is on my head. Interesting. Sound radar. Relays information such as gunshots and footsteps to the player. Your position will be displayed as a solid triangle, while your teammates will be triangle outlines. Okay. That's on the map. That's directly in front of me. I see. Okay. Kill three zombies with your main weapon. All right. Three zombies. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> there we go. There goes one. Oh, I guess they start to notice you when you start to fire them. Oh, wow. They spawn out of those pits. Okay. With my sub weapon. Okay. My sub weapon. So, uh, change weapon. There we go. Well, I can. I guess I can aim from uh, from the hip as well, right? Yeah, that's actually a little easier. There we go. Oh, they keep coming. Spawning from that muck on the ground. Mission cleared. Alright, there we go. Go back to the other weapon. Right, so I guess I go to the next point. They should ignore me whilst I have this zombie jammer equipped. Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, so they should just ignore me, right? A little wary about the zombies. Move past them. Yeah, they will leave me alone as long as my radar is not... Damage, sorry. Crouch. Okay, circle is crouch. I'm glad it's toggle. Crawl. Hold it to crawl. Okay. And not hold down. Okay, stand up. Oh, I have to hold it stand up. Okay. More zombies. So three zombies with a melee attack. Right trigger to melee them. Right, there's one. There you go. Oop. Oh, that guy saw me. Spawning out of the gunk below. Okay, so I guess I have to crawl through there. To the ground. There we go, okay. Status icon, okay. Vitality, status. Alright, zombie jammer effect. Status icon will split your HP status and equipment of your teammates. Okay, fair enough. This way we go. Icons. Icons allow you to communicate with your teammates. Okay, I'm not too bothered about that. Run, 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 run. Hit a zombie with a grenade. Alright. Fire in the hole. Oh, I like that it shows a blast radius as well. Alright, let's move. Are they still ignoring me? Yes. All right, that's basic training. All right, good to do that before we get into the main game as well. 
Yes, so those are the basic controls. I imagine there's a little more to it. <laughs> a zombie walks through the screen as we do that. Brilliant. Okay, so basic training complete. It's easy peasy. Hey Legend, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Just did our basic training in Umbrella Corps. The loan... Uh, oh, hello, there's advanced training. Learn about actions that are unique to Umbrella Corps. Okay, let's do it. Advanced training shall begin. And then we will start the experiment. The advanced training shows us the subject's true potential. It also determines whether the lab rat lives or dies. Life or death in this area, they're almost the same anyway. Okay. <laughs> Complete all mission objectives. Alright, we've... I kind of like, quite like the music. The music reminds me of... Um... Oh. They'll freeze almost while undercover. Cover is cross, okay. I can jump over cover, or I can break cover. But I can also blind fire. Da -da 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 -da. And aim from cover, okay. Oh! There we go. There we go. Oh, he's still coming! How are you doing, Legend, by the way, my friend? Right. Interesting. Oh, you can do cover from here as well, okay. Well, I've done my mission, so I'll get out of here. Doorway to hell, okay. Open. Okay, I have to kick the door open, okay. Interesting. No free zombies with a brainer. Alright. Smash. Oh, I can uh, charge it. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have to heat it and then and then use it. Okay. All right, now I get it. Two for one there. Ooh, you're fine. Hey, dead is like, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Uh, there we go. Heat up those zombie brains. Having dinner? Nice. What are you having? I'm having zombie brains apparently. Use your tactical shield with the handgun or the brain equipped as the zombie attacks to have uh, them bite into you. You can also use the zombie as a shield. Okay, fair enough. Hope you're doing well, Dinner Sight. Remove the barricade. There you go. Moving on up. Alright, climb. I guess I can leave these guys alone because I have my... Oh, we can climb walls as well. Interesting, with this tool. I'll have to remember that, actually. Got her away. Alright. Completed. All good? Let's get through it, my friend. Okay, so that was the advanced training. This item here. You can also use zombies as shields. Interesting. Alright, so I guess... With that out of the way, I now know those controls. Chicken Phillips stuffed with cheese, that sounds amazing! <laughs> A lot better than zombie brains, I'll tell you that. Alright, so it's time to play the experiment. Number of single player missions. First is the deadly experiment. The day is finally upon us. We're resuming the experiments. Sure took their sweet time, but enough about that. We'll start with the abandoned Umbrella Research Facility. You'll find plenty of researchers there. Or what's left of them. Alright. So I guess I'm just going to use whatever it, it tells me to use. Yeah. <laughs> Begin the battle. Alright. The zombies are very hungry. And they've been waiting for a long time. Do try to stay alive, but I won't be holding my breath or anything. Oh, okay. Is that my mission report? <laughs> Try and stay alive. Zombies are hungry as well. Have they tried chicken fillets? Deadly experiment. Here we go. Mission number one. Alright, collect the infected DNA samples. Okay. There is a timer, but it doesn't seem to be... Um, so, like... Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, it turns him into like one of those things. Does that mean zombies spawn out of that? 
cover, okay. Wait, cover? I guess I find the samples. Oh! Oh boy. Still coming for me! <laughs> this one's mine. Okay, I got some samples there. There's a herb there. Oh boy. There we go, okay. Go grab that. Oh boy! There it is. Give me that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. This one's mine. Alright, reload this bad boy. Oh yes, more zombies keep coming. Must remember that. So I have six out of twenty DNA samples. Here we go. All right. Ooh, ammo. Oh. There we go. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing it's just oh boy man I wish it was easier to get up from being uh, crouched I keep stuck in again 20 samples from here game is easier playing with mouse and keyboard yeah I can imagine for sure it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of action. I'm just gonna get him from here. This one's mine. There we go. Some more samples. Hello. Oh, I have to reload. There it is. There it is. More ammo. Oh. Oh crap. Oh. Oh. oh crap. Oh really? You you go that quick? Okay. <laughs> the zombies are eating each other, not me. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. So you actually go down pretty quick. Now I know. There you go, okay. Get that guy out. There it is. Maybe I should leave those heals. Because it looks like you just use the heals when you get them. Versus... Oh boy. There's a couple of things... That are a little awkward. Oh, I can go under here. Getting up from crouch is a little awkward. And uh, when you aim... I'm finding the, the like... Reticle... Oh my goodness. I'm finding the reticle on the aim a little awkward as well. Oh my goodness. You just retreat in here. Hey, take that zombie. Oh my goodness. Cover. Alright, just break cover. Oh wait, there was a heal under here. Yes, okay. Uh. There you go. Took them out. This one's mine. Oh boy, yeah, they keep spawning. Uh. Get that heal. Uh. I'm a little more aware of it now. This one's mine. Got out the. Uh... Okay, they also spawn heals as well. This one's mine. They just hide under the desk. Super cowardly, but. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I can't do that. So it's like to get to stand up, you have to like go back to ground and then get up. At least that's how I'm reading it, because you have to hold the, the circle button to stand up as well. This one's mine. Uh. Oh! There it is. Oh! I survived, only just! <laughs> okay, well that was, uh, that was actually pretty tough. This uh, game didn't last long for multiplayer. Yeah, they often don't. Um, particularly when like more multiplayer games come out as well. Alright, so now, I, now I've now uh, i gotten into a main game. I know that you can drop real quickly. Alright, that was the first mission. 
Move on to the next one. Spicing things up. The survival rate of the experiment last year were far too low. That a-hole with the huge nose from the inquiry board tasked me with making them more effective. I won't make the same mistakes. Let's start with the PDW. This should increase your odds. Hopefully I get some more items. Alright, well, still stuck with the uh with that with the pistol. Okay, so same same deal. Getting the samples. An area ravaged by the T truly hell on earth. To that end, I've given you weapons to survive the carnage. Use them well and you may live to see another day. I have the same weapons as last round, right? <laughs> Spicing things up. Well, I, maybe I should use the uh, Brainer some more. That seems to take him down instantly. Alright, we're good. To go. Yeah, still just got the pistol. Oh boy. Yeah, the, the pistol itself, when you're aiming with it... Oh, there we go, there's another weapon. There we go, I've got another weapon. Might be a little easier now. I also don't let the zombies uh, encroach on me because they really do take me out pretty quick. There's a heal there, I might just leave it there. Do I even want to lift that? <laughs> There's a zombie in there. <laughs> oh, got to reload. That's why I left... Uh, oh, there's a heal over there as well. Okay, well, I'm going to take the one I just left. Uh. Yeah, the sight of the weapon takes up a lot of the screen, I will say. This one's mine. Got the ammo. Oh, boy. You know what? This is a, this is a different mission, but this is the same environment we just had. <laughs> I can see why uh, the uh, single-player portion of this was not highly touted. Nevertheless, it is something I must complete to have completed all Resident Evils. There we go. Sample obtained. Bring out the uh whoop. smash. It's pretty good. Sample obtained. Eat it up. There you go. Alright, go back to the gun. Rival at hand. Alright, getting the hang of it now. There you go. Look at this guy playing this unusual game. How you doing, Trevor? Welcome to the stream. Alright, okay, well these mission missions are going down fast. Now I'm getting the hang of it. We're going to have to solve these feed on us. Like a, like a fine bunch of uh, chicken fillets. <laughs> Except it was, uh, except it was us. Um, all right, next mission. So, virtue of the shotgun. I like the sound of that. Hey, Mr. Moore, how you doing, Jamie? Welcome to the stream. According to the BSA A battle manual, the widespread of the shotgun is more effective against the infected than the high precision weapons. Well, we might have to put that theory to the test then. All right, okay, let's do it. The virtue of the shotgun. I'm sensing these are going to get more difficult as well. And I must remember you can go down really easy. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you use a zombie shield for too long, the zombie will eat you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Here's a shotgun. Put it to good use. We're paying close attention to the data you give me from it. Not a lot of... Uh... <laughs> hey, you finished eating dinner? Nice. What did you have, Jamie? Virtue of the shotgun. Zombies ate me previously, but um, I'll try and prevent any more game overs now that I'm fully acquainted with the game. Alright, here we go. Oop. Nice. Oh boy, okay. Let me just go find a shotgun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's no heal there. There was a heal there last time. <laughs> There's a heal, okay. Zombie shield. Hey, shield me, zombie. Whoa, okay. You know when I said I was going to try and prevent game overs? <laughs> he's not even eating me. He's missing completely. That guy's head's in the other guy's butt. All right, let's retry that stage. 
So, finding a shotgun might help. Tacos, nice. Alright, well that went awry very quickly. These stages can be pretty short in both regards. Um, leave me alone, zombie. I want to find that shotgun. Where are you, shotgun? Oh. This one's mine. There we go, okay. Find that shotgun. Oops. Oops. I'll look through here. See if I can crawl through here and find myself a shotgun. Oh boy. Rah! Okay, well, you know what? It's probably this big thing here, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, let's put it to test. Is the shotgun useful enough? Ooh, hello. New corridor. Oh, so the environment's... Oh boy, expanding a little bit as we go. I see. Interesting. Dude, I'm loving the shotgun. I'm not loving the reload time, but I digress. Oh, oh stop attacking me! <laughs> Sample obtained. Oh boy. Oh. Reload time on this thing is a bit slow. Oh, cover. Break the cover. There we go. <laughs> Give me that heal. Uh, what does this button do? Oh, hello. Nice that one of these zombies would drop a uh, heal. Oh crap! Get out of the cover! <laughs> Alright, we did it. Just... Ooh, okay. Okay, this uh, yeah ramps up pretty quickly. We got that one. What are you buying? I need to. I need to buy. I the shotguns. I the reload time is what gets me. There's a. I have a little issue with the controls when it comes to like crouching. Like it seems to me like you hold the crouch button to get back up. Which is the same control as to go flat onto the ground, which is a bit awkward. Anyway, next mission. The subject's potential. Even a third-rate mercenary can make it this far. The real test starts now. Survive this 3A7 and you will have shown yourself to be cut above the rest. Alright, let's do it. Okay, yes. Same starting equipment as usual. We shall see if that is enough. You can heat the brain up for added functionality. This is the hardest difficulty level in the simulator. Survival of the fittest. Once you run out of ammo, well, then it's time for the brainer. Survival is adaptability. Okay, so I only have 17 shots. Better make them count. Subject's potential. Okay, so now it wants me to use the brainer. And that's what I do, I guess, if I run out of ammo in the other stages of the game. Okay, so I should try for headshots. Or maybe just use the brainer. Hello. Oh. There we go. There it is. When the zombies go down, they make spawning uh, pits. Oh boy. There we go. Stomp. <laughs> that didn't work out the way I wanted to. There we go. Oh well. Oh, I did not mean to take that heal then. Hello? Zombie? Sample obtained. Climb up the ladder. Haha. <laughs> Hello, zombie. There's a heal there as well.
Oh. Sample obtained. Sample obtained. Uh oh. I'm gonna run out of ammo in a second. How many samples have I got? About half. Just under. Stomp! Missed him by that much. Oh boy. Alright, brain of time. Oh, did I go down whilst attacking? <laughs> Nom nom nom. They're just licking the blood off the floor. Alright, uh, you go down quick in this game. Alright, let's try that again. You go down real quick. Okay. 20 samples, 17 shots. I should be able to, as long as I don't screw this up, should be able to make my shots count. And then only have to use the brain a little bit. Storm! Oh boy. Zombie shield! Oh boy, I'm gonna go down. We're gonna heal. There we go. Oh, I only healed me marginally. Oh crap. Man, these zombies are real fast. Reminiscent of Operation Raccoon City. I believe there's a heal up here. Somewhere. Yes. There we go. Five shots. And I'm out of ammo. It did panic a little bit during that exchange. This one's mine. Dude, I can't even take cover because I'm next to a spawning pit. <laughs> spawning more zombies. Oh my goodness. What a terrible shot on my half. On my part, I should say. Alright, out of ammo. Just you and me. Yeah, I take damage from that. Hard to get these guys and not get hit on the, uh, on the other side. However, sometimes you get heals from it. I need that one as well. Bit unwieldy as a weapon. Unless you get him from behind, I guess. Get out of it. It will follow me. Not missed him. This one's mine. Ugh. I hate that you can only stand up from the ground. Ugh. I love those attacks though. Survival at hand. One more. This one's mine. Hey, we survived. Again, only just. <laughs> they are pretty clunky. The the thing I'm 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 most annoyed about is getting up from crouch. So to get up from crouch, it would seem that you have to hold the circle button which makes you go flat down to the ground which is also the same control when you're on the ground it gets you back up to standing unless I'm missing a trick here if you're crouched you have to then go flat to stand up which kind of makes sense I guess you push off on the ground but it also kind of doesn't uh, we got the umbrella decal okay all right so I'll try this uh, mission up here rest for the weary Hard tacos or soft? Any taco sounds good right now, to be fair. 
Never imagine you'd actually be sent in. You must be one of those types. Even in training, you need to feel risk in order to feed, find your motivation. Or feed your motivation. Feed, I've got food on the mind. Oh, this one's got some uh, weapons with it. Okay. Best for the weary. I get to start off with uh, a good weapon. Do it. Stomp attacks are effective against crawling enemies. Ah. Maybe if you hold up while crawling. We've been given special access facility in order to collect valuable battle data, so do your thing and try not to die. Try not to die. Sounds like, um, I believe her name was Moira in uh, Fallout. Who sent you on missions to, um, to study landmines and would say, try not to die. <laughs> he was an interesting character. Begin. Okay. Your time doesn't matter, so I'm not sure why it gives you your time. Unless you, unless you really want to be fast and unlock stuff. Why can't I aim on the other side? Talking about clunky controls. Oh, because I have to cover there to do that. Alright. Zombies. Silence before the storm. Ah, missed him. By that much. Great cover. Okay. But let me try this. Right, so go straight down to the ground. If I just want to duck. No, you have to you have to go down to the ground in order to get back up. <laughs> so clunky. There we go. Great cover. I also get a bit locked up in cover sometimes as well. Uh, these maps do expand though, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I don't like the uh, zoomed in. Oh boy, where did you come from? Aim on the weapons either. As you're looking down from the weapon. This one's mine. Oops. Sure. Take that. Soft tacos. That one's a little better because you can see through it. The barrel of the weapon isn't obstructing your vision. There we go. Pick up the ramp. Oh boy, bad time to reload. There it is. Ammo. There we go. Well, with uh, better weapons, this is a lot easier. Yeah, I've already got that, that's fine. Missed him, but he didn't even notice. That's funny. Hello? This weapon's a little better for that, because you can see through it a little better. Reload this thing while I'm out of combat. Well, when a zombie's right in your face, maybe I should be doing melee. Um, <laughs> give me the option, but they're out of my viewpoint. Ammo there. I quite like the music, though. Take that. <laughs> Survival is at hand. This one's mine. You survived. How about that? <laughs> Alright, okay. We got it. Ooh, hello. Round two. Right in front of zombies is where they start me. This right, one's mine. we're getting more serious now. I'm guessing. Thirty samples. Sample obtained. There we go. There we go. There you go. There it is. Get these samples. 
Yeah, every time you take down a zombie, you need to make a spawning pit for another zombie to come back. We need more samples this time around. Staying cover a little longer helps as well. Sample obtained. Uh, weapons a tiny bit unwieldy. Sample obtained. Heal, okay, I'll leave that there. Uh oh. Sample obtained. I worry about stomping the zombies because if I do that, then I take damage. One right on top of that heal. Okay. Then a moment to reload. Oh! That's what I get for taking a breath. Yeah, on the previous missions there was a heal under there. Need another healing item. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. Take that. Oh, nice. Give me a healing item. Oh crap. Nice. Got the ammo, might as well. Boom. Alright, doing okay. Don't jinx myself. Man, yeah, every time I use that weapon I get hit. Survival is at hand. So don't jinx me, game. <laughs> there it is. Hey, we survived. There you go. Alright, round two for that one. And there looks to be another round oh. Oh. There it is. nice this there we go oh I took that heal I didn't mean to do that if only you could hold on to them tacos in this case Mmm, tacos. I'm hungry for tacos and success. There it is. How many have I got to get? 40? Alright. Not suggestive. <laughs> Not like this watching someone be. beat a game. I watched him beating it. Wait, what? <laughs> There you go. So, yes this is single player content, but it's not like there's any story going on here. With Operation Raccoon City, there was uh, there was a story to it. This, uh, this is pretty much just the uh, scenarios. But, you know, I, I did want to complete every Resident Evil game. And this is still better than Resident Evil 2 on the Tiger Gamecom handheld, so can't really argue that. I would play uh, this for a thousand years over uh, Resident Evil 2 on the Tiger Gamecom. <laughs> Hello, zombie. You know what? Just eat my grenade. That's right, zombies. Close to be you guys. Oh, hello. You got me. Ow. Oh. 
And I think I got a heal from that as well. This one's mine. Zombie spawning. How about no zombie? There it is. There we go. Oh crap. Another one spawning isn't there yet. No, it's just crawling. Oh! Damn it, zombie! This one's mine. Well oh, there eventually. Give me some of that uh, ammo, thank you. This one's mine. There we go. This one's mine. Uh. Hello? Man, the stomp, like, works when it wants to. <laughs> there it is. Not a lot of weapons in this area, either. Bang. At least not that I found. Survival is at hand. Time to run away. Instead of normal up and down, I always have my controls inverted. I've become very used to that, um, particularly from like joystick controls for um, old PC games, but also from... Hey, we survived. Got what we wanted. There we go. All right, we did it. The experiment. Hope there's not a reward for under 10 minutes, 10 minutes and 8 seconds there. Um, yes, I always go inverted controls. Um, PC games with joysticks always had inverted controls. Um, especially flight sim games, I was used to it. Um, or games where you're in any aircraft, really. Down is up and up is down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's how, that's how I do it, man. Um, for sure. And, uh, yes, so that I'm very used to. Um, you're going to board this place, don't we? There's a new trial waiting for you. Alright, well, we've done, we've done that one. Ten, uh, ten minutes. So we've got that one as well. Receive permission to begin a new round of trials. I've changed my mind about the subject. He performs well. That bodes well for me too. So on to the next stage. This time we'll be going to the Tricell facility that fell victim to the bioterror attack. Okay. Interesting. Begin recording. After 20 long travel hours, we finally arrived at the Mediterranean Sea. Unfortunately, Onka is here too. That AO doesn't want to acknowledge the validity of CQBZ. I hate him and his stupid nose. Okay, hellhounds it is. Can't play games with vertical controls. Yeah, some love it, some hate it. Um, for sure. Alright, let's begin the battle. It's, uh, it's definitely, definitely a um, mixed bag. The nice thing about this Bioterra incident is that it gave us the Cerberus. They're fast and they adapt at locating the enemy. Alright, do it. We're in Tricell HQ. Hellhounds, hell have no fury. Like some hellhounds, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just very used to it. I, I change that in, in every game. Uh, and then, you know, when you got to, like, the um, FPS games on systems like the N64, it was sort of the uh, default. Ooh, I like this. New zombies here as well. New zombies. What? Hello? Break it down. Oh, jump over the wall. Come on, there you go. You can do it. This one's mine. There we go. 20 samples. Nice. You stick up is up. Down is down. That's madness! It's madness, I tell you. Ooh, can I get through this door? Oh, I see a heal there. Oh, oh boy. 
Gotta heal from that zombie. Interesting to um, Sample obtained. play in this tricell facility, which is pretty cool. Oh. Zombie's not even looking at us. Nice. Can't get behind the vault. Probably wouldn't want to, even if you could. Don't know what manner of zombies you might uh, find in there. Get the ammo while I'm at it. Oh, hello. Speaking of, into the lab. Oh, it's a Cerberus. This one's mine. There you go. Oh, it's coming for us. Reload time on this weapon. <laughs> Pistol is a lot faster to reload. Oh, that Cerberus again. No, dogs. Yeah, it is. It is a Cerberus. Sample obtained. Oh boy. Talk about hellhounds. Get him. Explode already. There we go. I survived. Only just. My goodness, that was a tense situation, to say the least. <laughs> it's still coming for me <laughs> after the mission is complete. PC gaming doesn't use uh, vertical controls on a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, so it, it would be a long time if you use keyboard and mouse for sure. Um, you know, the uh, you have the WAS and D keys. But um, back in the day, WAS and D wasn't... Um, wasn't uh, like standard so um, you, you'd often find like maybe the directional buttons as well might be used Uncle is busy trying to cover his butt he's supposed to change emission conditions I wonder how this is going to affect the survival rate is he trying to make us fail okay had to change the mission thanks to Honka butting in you have to send us data from a specified location It'll require holding a position for a while. That definitely complicates things. Alright, let's do it. I can start off with uh, some good stuff. Let's do it. Unlike before, you won't be able to run away. So I've secretly increased the locations of hidden weapons. The rest is up to you. Okay, let's do it. Have at it. Secure the location. Is this like a capture the flag, I wonder? That would be kind of cool. Capture and defend the... Oh, okay, it is. At least it seems that way. Those... Oh, boy. There's a, is that a sleeping dog? Yes, it is. They take more than one shot as well. Okay. Duly noted. Okay, so... It's, this time, it's not pick up the things, it's get to the location and defend it. Um, can I change my pistol for that? So now I have that. No, okay, I had to change that, that way around. Ooh, hello. Point. Oh, it's, I thought it was a turret. <laughs> that would be too generous, right? This weapon is not going to cut it. Too slow at reloading. Oh, did we get it? Alright, get to the other place. Ugh. How many rounds is this DLC? I'm not sure what is DLC and what isn't DLC, to be honest, because... Um, let's switch weapon. No, not stomp, switch weapon. There we go. Hey, I got a heal there anyway. Um, because I got, like, the gold... Uh, oh, boy. I didn't even know you could open doors. I thought you'd only kick them in. That's funny. Oh, I should need this heal already. Um, where's my location? It's this way. Uh, because I got like the... Um, I want to say it was called Deluxe Edition, but it might have been called something else. Um, but it was only like three pounds or something. Oh my goodness, I can't stand still for a second. These dogs are on me. Gotta go up. This way? I need this heal now. 
I gotta go upstairs. Okay, that's what it's telling me. Upstairs. I was like, find the upstairs. Um, so I'm not sure, like, ah, there's the stairs. So I'm not sure what comes standard and what doesn't. Mm, sure. Oh boy. And also stuff might have been added as um, as download, Oop. as the game updated as well. Oop. Grab that. Gets through here. So you can open doors normally. Weapon here. Yeah, I'll pick that up. I would like something that is not a shotgun type weapon. Oh boy. So that it reloads faster. The reload time on this weapon is very bad. Go down. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's go down here. Alas, the zombies will respawn regardless. Jump over. Oh, I did not mean to jump downstairs. I have to crawl down on the floor to get back up to a vertical base. Okay. Nope. Cerberus. There we go. Yo, Digicon, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see some of these zombies left me some heals. <laughs> What's up, Digicon, my friend? Ah, there's a heal. Asking you shall receive, I guess. I guess I'm not going that way. Oh, all, all this way. Man, you could do with a dodge button. Can't do nothing while I'm reloading there. Okay. Guess we just uh, stick it out. How are you doing, Digi, my friend? Alright, next one is, I guess, downstairs? Or this way? Smash. Ooh. I saw the dog. I saw it move around here somewhere. It's right behind me, isn't it? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Oh, boy. That stings. Hey, thanks for your continued membership, Digicon, my friend. Much appreciated, buddy. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, you guys are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Even as I get my butt kicked by zombies and zombie dogs of Cerberus. Oop. Get to use those... Uh, members, of course, get to use my face in any way they want. It's not a euphemism. It's an emote with my face on. Oop. Appreciate it, uh, Digicon, my friend. How are you doing, by the way? I'm already injured, it would seem. Oh, two for one with that exchange. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to stay here and defend it. Oh, boy. Take that one out now. Oh, I like the uh, aim on this one. Oh, we got it, we got it. Hey, Myra, how you doing, friend? You guys are awesome. Thanks for checking out the stream. Oh, where'd that dog go? There we go. Uh, walk into my grenade. Like a good zombie. There we go. I guess I'm just going to use another one. There's a lot of them there. There we go. I think I'm going upstairs. Chilling. You love this game? It's very interesting. It's very different from the other Resident Evils. Very different. Uh, you're good? That's good to hear, my friend. Glad you're doing well. Ooh, well, look at that lovely view. Ooh, there's a heel down there. And a dog. Zombie dog, that is. Oh boy. This is probably the most different Resident Evil game I've ever played. I'm going to stick with this gun. I like it. I don't have much ammo for it, but I like it. 
There we go. Oh, I got my health back. I think I'm good. Ah, there it is. There it is. Let's try it once more. Oop. I'm doing all of the missions once. I'm not sure if the second time you do the mission, because more text appears after you've done a, a mission. Objective complete. If after you've done a mission, you get like a more complicated version of it. Which would be interesting. But I'm just going to do, I guess, what would be, what I normally do, which would be like the easiest difficulty. Uh, I like expand, uh, trying all these different environments though. I need another heal. Oh boy. I'm going to stick with this weapon. Okay, there's my next... Wait, that dog active? Yes, it is. Stick with this weapon. Oh, there's a heal there if I need it. I may well do. Oh my goodness, zombie dog. Please go down. <laughs> Alright, there's a heal there. I don't really need it though. Oh my goodness! Another zombie dog got me. Well, now I need that heal. It definitely ramps up. I'm gonna stick with this gun. It's got the better aimer, I think. Oh boy, I hate getting up from crouch. <laughs> I'll complain about that all day long, it sounds like it. Oh, I got a heal from that. Not all bad. Whee! Oh. oh, bad time to reload with a zombie dog coming after me. Alright, where's the next one over here? Yeah, there we go. Two heals here though. Oh! Crap. Oh, right next to me. Very fast and furious. Oh! Right, give me one of these heals and I'll go to the next one. Done, done, and it's on to the next one. Done, I'm done, and it's on to the next. Made that up just now. <laughs> Alright. Maybe it's the uh, red hot chili peppers for lunch. Whoop! On the tacos. <laughs> Okay, back here. Alright, there. Oh. Wait. Where did you come from? Oh, maybe the window? Must have been the window. Look, look how quickly they spawn. Gross. I survived? I survived. Glorious. The experiment is complete. How about that? Ooh. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I like the variation in gameplay though, but this does, um, that automatic shotgun is mental. It is, I really liked how fast it was, except for reloading. I'm not liking the reload speed on the shotguns, but that's the uh, other side of it, I'm guessing. Subject has easily adapted to the territory missions. Oh, I'd love to see the look on Honka's face, but you know that a-hole has gone and changed the mission again when letting go without making my own demands. Let's use this to move forward. Yeah, so I'm not sure if that means that there's more to do from the mission, or that's just more information unlocked the next mission you go. Can't take it anymore, we have to do something about Honka. He's all about B.O.W.'s and is actively making this experiment harder for us. He's an enemy to us both. Stick it to him by clearing this mission. 3A7. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Recover all the briefcases. Alright, okay. Let's recover them briefcases. This will be our final experiment on this island. Once completed, we'll be taken to the next quarantine zone. Before that, you'll need to collect all of the classified items. Okay. So try our facility. It's interesting you get a little more uh, story between. Move on to the next mission. As the missions do themselves ramp up, it would seem. We are ready. Again, this isn't my first time playing this, so... We'll see how I do. 
Oh my goodness, I couldn't even do anything about it. I was lifting up the door, that's a lot of dogs. <laughs> could be a quick game over, I'm out of ammo. This could be a quick game over. There's a briefcase. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need a... Uh... Oh, it's a weapon. Okay, yeah, I actually need a weapon, so that's fine. Briefcases. There's another one. I'm just going to leave that one where it lies. Oh, boy. Bad time to do this. Oop. Ow, at least I got a heal from it. Nice. Oop. Ooh, I like this one. I'm almost out of ammo again, though. Oop. Give me the briefcase. Survival at hand. One more to grab. Run away. Man. Oh my goodness. Well, that, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Everyone's having some of uh, some of us there. <laughs> Both inside of each other. Alright, yes. Let's retry the stage. Okay, so limited ammunition. There's something else. <laughs> Okay, so, maybe I'll go the other way. Ammo is scarce on this, but there are extra weapons. Oh. Oh, hello, zombie dog. Hello, zombie. Let's take that, okay. Uh. If I go, like, down... There's a... Uh, ow! Stop fighting me! What's eating you? That thing was. Right. Out of ammo. Uh. uh, leave me alone, zombie dog. There you go. <laughs> of course, it didn't leave me alone. Oh, we got two for one there, though. Uh. What system is this on? PS4. It was on sale a little while ago for like next to nothing. Get it? There we go. Oh, I just alerted another one. Oh my goodness, get up the ladder. Hopefully it can't follow me up here. I'm totally gonna get a game over from that thing. <laughs> Alright, I need a heal. I need a heal. Yo, Dervin, how you doing, my friend? Looks cool. It's definitely a lot of action. <laughs> I'm so surprised I didn't get a game over there. Look. Oh my goodness. I need to get those briefcases. Stop attacking me while I'm opening a door. I'm trying to open the door. <laughs> how are you doing, Dervin, my friend? What's up, buddy? I had heard this was hard. Alright, so... Did better my first try, but let's see. First t third times the charm. There we go. Over all the briefcases. Okay. So I think going forward actually behooved me better last time. But not too bad. Good to hear, my friend. 
This weapon is uh, hot garbage. Yeah, I want to pick that up, but then I'll be out of ammo for this weapon. Now yeah, whatever. Bunch of sleeping dogs. Like in this game, it's very interesting. That's for sure. It's uh, definitely different from the rest of them. There we go. Definitely very different. I think going to the ground was a was a bad idea. Now I'm thinking about it. I need to go back upstairs. But hopefully I'm past those dogs now. Another weapon? Oh, more ammo for this. Okay, sure. Well, the same ammo as it would be. <laughs> right, just gonna open this, try and avoid that zombie. There's one of the briefcases. Damn it. Can't shoot through those holes there. Holy... Alright, can I just go switch this up with the other one I just went past and get the ammo back? No. <laughs> I ended up with less ammo. There you go. Hey, catch you later, gaming. Oh boy, so I'm just gonna destroy this. There's a briefcase over there. Jump down this way. Hopefully it doesn't get to me. Right, out of ammo for that one. There's a briefcase right there. Okay, so... A couple more briefcases. Uh. One over here somewhere. And that's it, we're out of ammo. <laughs> There's a little more ammo left around here somewhere. Uh. Some of the weapons I've previously dropped. Oh my goodness, when you use this weapon, they keep uh, getting, a, getting a hit on you. Oh, I got some ammo over here, actually. Six shots. Man. Well, now we don't have ammo anymore. Here he comes. No. Swing it. Are the other briefcases? My goodness, they spawn so quickly. <laughs> Down again. To the zombie dogs. There's one last briefcase I haven't been able to procure. Alright, let's do it. Zombies are so eager to get you, they attack you straight through the camera itself. I do think I'm best off not disturbing those zombie dogs. And there we go. Because they will respawn. I'm just going to leave that there because I'm going to pick it up later. Because I don't have much ammo to use. Oh my goodness, zombies. So I think it was going up this way. Led me to a briefcase. Yes. One over here. Oh yeah. For that one, I have to go past these guys. I don't want to do yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to stick with this weapon for another 10 shots and then switch. switch. Gonna need to change up my weapon. Oh boy.
A lot of zombies. Just going to leave them alone. Jump off the edge. Oh, crap. Right on that as well. Come and get me. Maybe I can just leave that one there. The melee attack, I think, is faster than using the other thing. The uh, heat axe gimmick. Oh, the other one's over here somewhere. Oh, I have ammo for everything. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. So many enemies. Maybe I should just try running it. They're definitely tucking in. Alright, let me try that one. Maybe I should just try running it. Alright, I'll do the hardest thing first then, I guess, where those dogs are. Just use my grenade here. So hopefully they won't get up during it. So... Under here? There it is, okay. One sort of this way. You look, oh boy, location of some of these uh, items is rather cryptic. There's one above me here. It's also telling me that there's others like around here somewhere. Oh boy. Alright, there's one just there. Oh my goodness. There's a zombie dog on one of them right here. That couldn't have gone better. Climb up the ladder. Now. Oh, they're coming for me. Survival is at hand. If I can get that other briefcase. I think there's some ammo here I haven't grabbed. Okay. I just need to find that last briefcase. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Oh boy. Stand up, damn it. What is it telling me? It's down? It's telling me it's there? Oh, don't stop attacking me! We got it! We survived! Oh my goodness, that was a mission and a half! That was a tough one. Collector, and you'd think, as a collector, that wouldn't have been so bad for me. Took a bunch of tries. Yeah, these uh, missions are... Pretty tough. Yeah, we got that one. We got the tricell decal from that. You get some more information after you've done a mission. 
I'm not sure if that's telling you that um, to move on to the next mission or that if you are to replay that mission that it would be more difficult. They're hard enough. I've told the organization about how well you've been doing. Not even Honka can stop us now. Next we'll be heading to the infamous bioterror disaster zone. You'll be encountering new creatures. That works for me. So the way I'm reading it is it seems to me like you get more story and then you move on. Alright, village where it all started. The village is where the organization got started. The Plaga Parasite hasn't been fully contained. Good news for me, it makes for fertile testing grounds. Alright, good start off with some good stuff. Collect DNA samples, we're back to shooting stuff. We're back to shooting stuff. These Ganado have been infected with the dummy Plaga, a weakened form of the Parasite. They're not as strong as regular Ganado but still more threatening than your average zombie. Alright, like the tension heats up. Village where it all started. We're up to Resident Evil 4 territory now. Interesting. Collect the samples. Oh, the bell tolls. There's the bell toll for the... I like these environments as well. Oh, they've got axes. Outsider, they say. Ooh, ammo. Ah, uh, it's cool. They've even got it down to the uh, burning. This one's mine. Interesting to see what this environment looks like in this game. Uh, the burning section in the middle. Oh. Look at the samples. As long as you don't bump into the guy with the uh, chainsaw. <laughs> there it is. Oh. oh, that looks behind me. I was trying to turn around. I didn't know that the birds would attack me as well. <laughs> oh, no time for rest for the wicked. Or the weary it would be. Also, to kick open a door, you have to initiate kicking it open first. Oh my goodness, these birds! The crows! Wow! Okay. They're the worst! Who would have thought? Okay. How many DNA am I supposed to grab in this stage? I guess we'll see in a moment. 20, okay. Smash. Also, to jump over a uh, wall, the RE4 village for sure, to jump over a wall, you first got to Sample cover two. by the wall and then jump over it, which is a bit weird. And to break open a door, you first have to press cross by the door and then. Oh. All these birds are the worst. Take this! You walk towards me menacingly with your hatchets. Time to bury the hatchet. Okay, I guess I can't stay outside too long then, because the... Oh! Speak of the devil. These things will come get me. Oh boy. I like the cover mechanics, but you can't use a lot of the cover <laughs> with uh, how fast the uh, enemy come at you. I, guess it's, I was about to say it somewhat protects me from the birds. Go up high. I said go up the ladder. Ow. Ammo. I think if I wait for a second or two, my hit points come back. Thing. Uh. Boom. Oh, I actually didn't realize that you could shoot through the door. That's pretty funny. I have to go out there and grab those samples, though. Oh, can't go out that way. Okay. 
Better go out this way. Kick it down then. Kick it into high gear. Uh, ow. I'm gonna get wrecked by the birds again. Don't let that happen. Uh, get in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I said third times the charm last time. These ones don't eat you because of they are the uh, less plaggers. Which is kind of cool. At least they kept that into account. They just they just uh, take you out. All right. Man, I hate these things. Get out of here, bird. I hope they don't respawn. Headshots in from afar. I don't know what's going on. I can get some samples. Oh. This one's mine. Dodging my shots, man. There you go. Oh, bird. Rat a tat a Oh, bad time to reload. Bad time to reload. Get up top here. This is where you got the shotgun in the uh, main game. Uh oh. Hello. What are you doing in it? Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. All of a sudden. Ah! Oh, if you didn't have to duck behind the cover to jump in the cover, then I would have made that. Alright, let's try that again. The missions on this are pretty savage. Oh yeah, I meant to sh I meant to sniper them from afar. And then go and collect the sweet, sweet DNA. That bird, stay away. This one's mine. Oh. They come for the outsider. Damn those birds. There it is. I do like how the uh, variance in models means that like the exact same person here several times next to themselves. Stay away from me, bird! Sample obtained. Those birds are brutal. Get that heal in. Sample obtained. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are bad enough, let alone someone with a chainsaw in it. There it is. Get those samples. I'm going to concentrate more on grabbing the samples this time around. Survival is at hand. As long as I don't let the birds get me again. Nope. Oh, did I just walk through a window? No, the door was open. There we go, we survived. Only just though. Completed the experiment. This experiment, anyway. Wow, okay. Good stuff. Let's see what we are facing next. The next challenge that awaits us. Where it all started. Yes. One of the big shots at the top has heard about you and he's coming to watch. I've only heard rumors but apparently he scares everyone in the organization. Okay, who could do that? A certain individual from high ranks in the organization will be watching. Be sure to put on a good show for him. Alright, singularity it is. Got all my stuff ready. Caption defend the position. Who could it be? Or whom could it be, I should say? Given the time, the dummy plaga will cause a mutation in the subject, creating strong Ganados. I would not recommend a direct confrontation with them. We've got a variant. 
Singularity. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be uh, tough actually. The domination game type. Especially if these areas are out in the open. Oh my goodness. The Cerberus is there as well. I'm trying to clear out their numbers so I can defend the position, but... They keep respawning. Stay away. Well, the birds as well. Man, I can't get those birds. They're so awkward to deal with. Alright, good stuff. Get indoors. Where I can defend myself. Ammo. Oh boy. Look at all those Cerberuses. <laughs> wow, it's that quick. With a hatchet. Well, we got uh, one fifth of the way there. Let's try that again. Yes, yeah, we try Sage. All right, so. First things first. Hell is that? That is a horrible sound. <laughs> Get these damn birds as well. Oh, can't get. Oh, I can get them with melee. I was like, how do I get these things? Uh, as soon as it's done that, they get revealed to my position. Need that healing. There we go. Oh, not one I'm doing the thing. Oh, great time to reload. <laughs> Look at this. Two enemies stacked on top of each other. Alright, the other point. Oh my goodness, another Cerberus. Right, the other point was around here. What the heck? Oh boy! This is just what I need. Wow, okay, got me without that anyway. You are gone. Game over, man. Game over. Wow, okay, this is uh this is tough. This definitely heats up. Okay. That's what that thing is. Okay. Should I just like Stay away from it because it didn't seem to take like much if any damage. Okay, of course that guy leaves a heal when I don't need it. Yeah, it's like I take these guys down, but they spawn so quick. Secure transmission point. Deal with these guys from here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I guess I just stay away from it. If I can. Where's the next one? Over here? There we go. Oh, crap. Birds as well. Man, get off me. A two fifths of the way in. Where's the next one? This way. Oh boy, it's right there. 
I hear the dogs coming after me. Where are they? Alright, just, just go for it, I think. Oh, the dog's barking at me. Nope. Stay away from that thing in the distance there. Particularly resistant to damage. Oh crap. Ammo is good, but heal is also good. There's a heal. I'm gonna leave that up there actually. <laughs> leave that door closed. Then it's gonna take a while to get in here. Alright, we got it. The ammo. The other one's like over there, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, uh. Oh, not the birds. Stay away, bird. Stay away. <laughs> oh my god, another bird. It's just infinite birds. <laughs> oh boy. Take that. Survival is at hand. Ah, nice, it made fire. How about that? The fire did not deter any of the zombies, they just walked right through it. <laughs> oh well. How about that? We got it! Someone special was watching as the game told me. Who, whom could that be? Alright. With that said, the commander seemed more interested in the subject than the mutated Ganados. His facial expression never changed, but he asked a couple of questions. Yes, this is my chance to talk you up. All right, the commander. The organization is watching, and that mean that see man seems very interested in this village. The way he talks about it, it almost like he was there. When everything went down, who? Just who is this guy? Okay. Let's do it. Now, the interesting thing about this game is it suggests. Well, I'll leave it, see if it's put in. Ask a question from above, you'll have to obtain data briefcases from Gomado infested territory. And I hate to break it to you, but you not only will supply will be short, but we'll be reducing your ammo. Oh boy. This game makes an interesting suggestion. Of course, this would have been when the umbrella would have changed from a force of evil to uh, to good during this time. Another one of those things. I gotta get the briefcases. Don't have much ammo as well. They see me immediately? No, I don't think so. Briefcases. Oh boy, it's looking right this way. Ooh, can we go in here? Ow, what? Well, guess we can't. There's no safety in that place. Oh boy. Do that. <laughs> I think I blew myself up. <laughs> there, okay. I wonder if you're supposed to be playing as some unknown... I guess so. Give you a name, actually. In the, uh... In the mission brief. Some of which, uh expanded as we went okay so I actually probably just have to deal with that thing so maybe I should try and deal with it now oh wow it's got so much HP Are you kidding me oh boy there we got it all right well that this is down at least it's down 
I just have to worry about these ruddy birds. I hate that you can't take out the dogs with a, with a shot to the face. Takes more than one pistol round. Oh, of course, I, because I just dealt with one. There's another one. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Could have been worse. Get up here. Moment of safety. Hello. Oh, did another one just to, just appear? Oh, I can't use my melee weapons in the doorway. Sounds like it. I hear the sound of another one. Oh my goodness, there's birds. Briefcases. Leave me alone, birds. Come on. Uh. How do I get to that? On the other side? Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh my goodness. Don't call Alfred Hitchcock. Tell him he was right. Doberus. Two left to grab, I think. Oh my goodness, the birds! I have ammo with a weapon as well. Oh wow, oh, I was on the last briefcase! Cerberus came and got me, I think. At that angle, we see inside of the dog as it. We see the insides, which will soon be me as well. Our character fills there. Okay. Well, we were doing alright that time. Damn, the damn indeed. Is it just see me straight away? No. Those things are tough, and if I take one out, another one just takes its place. So, let's just avoid it if we can. So there were, oh, God, those birds are the worst. You can't stand still for like a second. Oh, you see what I mean? Trying to take out the dog. <laughs> the bird attacks me. Dog's sleeping. Oh my goodness, leave me alone, birds. Like a seagull after your pasty. Guess I could be quiet and avoid the dogs, but I have to go this way anyway. Yeah, they turn into spawning pits though, which makes more dogs. So <laughs> I still have to deal with the same amount of dogs. They just become active if I deal with them. Oh boy, well, he's gonna get me. Be oh my goodness, bird, leave me alone. There we go. One briefcase is this way. I think this is the one we missed last time. Cerberus! Oh my goodness. A lot of bad guys. There's my grenade that only took out one target and the three standing next to each other. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, birds! What else can I say, birds? <laughs> Except, man, stop eating on me. I have to take that. Oh yeah, they told me ammo will be scarce here as well. Survival is at hand, they say that. I just run for it? Oh, I hear you. I hear you, doggy. Cerberus. Alright, because that thing's there. <laughs> I can't get over there. I have to go around the side. Carefully. 
Ow. Got it. We, we survived. Nice. We did it. How do you like that, bad guys? That's what you get. Phew. Completed that one. Nicely done. All right, yeah, these are uh, these are very interesting. So let's see what's next. Built the Los Illuminados decal. Okay. Scorched Earth is next. I'm fascinated by what happened in the past, and with this guy, it seems like he's trying to make a show of his own strength. And with that, my suspicion increased tenfold. I have to figure out who he is, if it can just be access to DNA data that's in the archives. Ah. We moved on from this one where uh, the information. Promised the commander that I'd move on to the next level of trials. He made sure to let me know he's the one responsible for the experiments. Ah, so this same person is responsible for experiments. I don't know if he came out of nowhere. He seems very familiar with everything. Better get on his good side. Ah, I see. That's interesting. So the story does build up. So if you get in. The archives. Or the chronicles, if you will. As it was in the uh, Wii games. Scorched Earth is next. I'm going to start off with the, uh, with the pincer. The dome pincer. The plague is spreading once again at the site of Tricell incident. We'll be collecting... Battle stress data through multiple missions that are strapped in for the long haul. Alright, let's do it. Scorched Earth, we go. Collect samples. Oh, okay, another sample one. Resident Evil 5 we've moved up to. Oh. There it is. There it is. I like I like uh, I like this moving into the uh, different Resident Evils. Oh, these ones are some of these guys are taking two headshots. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely getting tougher. Sample obtained. I mean, I've got to get twenty samples. Oh my god, the bird's still... <laughs> I hate those things. What's that sound? I heard a disturbing sound. Got him. And it's, it's weird that it gives you the option to stomp down below. I guess it thinks when you're up a bridge, you're on top of an enemy. Oh crap. Shotgun come in handy here though. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. It's cool going through the Resident Evils though and playing them in this kind of mission. Very similar to what you had on um, Operation Raccoon City. Oh boy. There we go. This one's mine. This one's mine. Step different environments, of course. Survival is at hand. One more. There it is. There it is. Whoa. Enemy all around me here. Alright, we survived. It's a two stage one! Catch and defend the positions. Oh boy.
<laughs> yeah, I can't believe they survived one headshot. Mortal Wolves. Alright, okay. I guess the shotgun's gonna be my friend here. First one in there. Down he goes. Alright. Oh my goodness, the birds. Coming from all around me. Alright, where's the next one? All messed up. Okay, so this way. Talk here. Oh my goodness. Just do it. Okay, we're good. Next one. Thought about going up that ladder there, but the things on the ground. Uh oh. Down here again? Secure transmission point. Transmission. Oof. One more after this, I think. Objective complete. Oh. Right, let's do it. I'll leave the door closed, then they can only come in this way. Survival is at hand. You survived. Hey, there you go. I was right to keep the door closed. Nice. Alright. How about that? Some uh, Resident Evil Umbrella Corpse action. This game is actually, it's very fast paced. I like that. Seems to be a fair few missions for it. Just who is this guy? Why is everyone so terrified of him? The more I see him, the more questions I have. I'll do my own background check. In secret, of course, I managed to get one of his hairs. Oh, oh boy. All right, well. Um, I'm going to leave you with that mystery, actually. Um, I actually know who it is. Um, and it's, it's very interesting to see if this information is cano canonical. But um, I'm going to have some pickups at the very end of this stream. And uh, yes, so I will move over to the uh, full webcam. And we will, uh, we will come back to this game um, at a later point. And complete the missions. I do enjoy the um, fast-paced action of it. And if the, if the next missions are also uh, ramping up in difficulty, then uh, certainly um, we will need to spend more time on them. So, gonna leave the game there for now. But I will. I actually have a couple of pickups to show you. There you go. Get to see more of the uh, new game room now. Um, pretty happy about how it's turning out. Um, so. First of all, I did pick up a Game Boy Advance game. Um, I believe this will be on the next uh, video game pickups video. So um, I want to show you this now because it will probably be on the next pickup video you see. Um, I picked it up very recently and normally I wait till I have... Um, hey Jonan, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. Hey, no worries my friend. Appreciate you dropping by. Um, I'm going to do some very quick pickups at the end here. Um, but we will be back for sure.
for some more um, Resident Evil Umbrella Corp action. Very interesting game. Very different. Uh, more different than some of the other Resident Evils I've played for sure. Um, but I did pick up a couple of things recently. Um, one video game, and this will be on the next pickup video because it's filling in. Um, often I have like placeholders, so um, I've, I've ordered a couple of limited run games. Um, but they, uh, when I when I order them, they haven't gone into production yet. So taking that into account, they tend to move back to the next pickup video, and uh, so then I have spaces to fill. Uh, so this game I ended up picking up, and normally for a live stream, I like to show several games at once. Um, but this is this is the video game I have to show, and I have some other things to show. Uh, but this will be the video game, and uh, I I got a well first of all I got a. Um, and I've done this for another game, a Dragon Ball Z Game Boy Advance game I got. I got myself a, uh, a DS case for it, an American DS case, because the American DS cases fit these uh, games a little better. And I like to distinguish them from my DS games. And then I, all I do is I put like the name of the game on the side, which in this instance is Iridian 2. Um, so yes, these fit the games relatively well. The game and the manual. So I picked up the loose cartridge and the manual for Iridian 2, which is a uh, which is a shmup, and that was very cool. And as you can see, there's the cartridge slot. I think the American cases, which are the black cases for DS games, fit uh, GBA games a little better. And I may uh, at some point print out a cover. I know you can get DS style covers to go on these things, um, but I'm very unlikely to pick this up boxed. Um, but since I have the manual, I prefer it being in a uh, in a cartridge case like this otherwise i just don't have anywhere to put the manual uh but yes it is it is a uh, cartridge and manual it is cool the first iridium game was like a 3d um was like a 3d shmup and this one's more scrolling more traditional it's still 3d but it's more traditional and uh, so i like that uh, i got the cartridge this game i got um i want to say i paid like 20 25 for it with the manual and it tends to go for about 80 um right now recently um i think metal jesus rocks mentioned it in a video as a hidden gem and then things go a bit crazy um uh, when that happens so i was able to get it when it was fairly cheap so i got a pretty good deal on it because it, it's around about 80 60 to 80 for the cartridge and i paid about 25 for the cartridge and the manual the manual is a little wrecked as you can see right here it, it's got definitely some wear on the side um on both sides actually it's been it's been ripped in a very peculiar way, but the manual is still here, and it does it does still just about function, even though it is very damaged. Um, but it does have the information that you want in there, which is cool. Um, and I do enjoy having the manuals for these games, and that's why I'm keeping it in the case just to keep the manual with it. But yeah, you go the manual, and then of course the cartridge. And uh, but yes, this will be filling in for a limited run game. For my next pickup video most of the gameplay footage for my next pickup video i have already filmed so uh this will this will be inserted in there instead of one of the other games that i am yet to receive um having having said that i do plan the video game pickup videos very far in advance but the production timetable of limited run games um you order them and then it takes a, a good while for them to make them let alone ship them to england so um yeah waiting on some of those um games like uh shenmue free uh, the physical edition of that with the DLC from Limited Run Games. Very excited about it. Um, ordered it a while ago, but hopefully I'll be getting my hands on that at some point. The other thing I ordered is for uh, my Xbox 360 controllers. So as you guys know, I have uh, moved location. And uh, some things made the transition well, some things did not. Um, most notably, my Xbox 360 controllers. So here's uh, here's my this was like my, my main Xbox 360 controller. As you can see right there, the thumbstick has uh, has definitely been damaged. I'm not exactly sure how I managed to do that, but I've damaged the thumbstick. Um, this one's not terrible, um, but this one is definitely um, not usable in its current state. And then I've also got another Xbox 360 controller which is in even worse state. The thumbsticks are absolutely terrible on this one. It's like they've melted away. Um, both of these are bad. This is the Gears of War uh, controller, by the way, for the Gears of War Xbox 360. And this is also missing the battery cover. So what I've done is I've grabbed myself 
uh, these, which are directly in front of me. And they are a bunch of replacement parts for the Xbox 360. So most notably, um, they are the thumbsticks themselves. Here they are. I've got four of these. Uh, I have enough to replace all of the thumbsticks, although I may well just be replacing three thumbsticks on these uh, controllers. So there they are. And I also got myself a uh, battery compartment replacement as well for the uh, controller that was missing the battery compartment. Now that part is very easy to do. You just uh, slot this right on there. Um, the right way around helps. <laughs> and then uh, that's, that's replaced. So now this controller is usable. But the thumbsticks are still really bad. Um, so, I need to replace the thumbsticks on these bad boys. The first part about that, ironically, will be take the battery cover off. Um, I bought a tool to take out the screws on this thing. And there are seven screws, I believe, on this thing. One of them is hidden underneath this right here. And I believe this is an extremely easy process. So... Uh, I bought this tool right here as well that will get into these things and hopefully it's as simple it's as simple as just to unscrew these things and to get at them and uh, then I should be able to change these up so in theory it's a very very easy switch you just take off the screws and um, this does fit on correctly which is good to see it seems to me like uh, this tool has a different uh, attachment on either side. But yes, I will be changing up these uh, controllers to put those new thumbsticks on. So I'm excited about that. So I will be um, switching these up. These, um, the only difference is these new thumbsticks, they feel a little smaller than these ones. But yeah, I will be switching those over. Um, it looks like it's going to be fairly easy from what I understand you just put this thing this little tool I have um, I can't tell whether it looks to me like the um, like the actual one I need is on the top I assume this will be the same tool on each side but it looks like the one I need is on the top um, and I will be able to unscrew these so there's three on either side and there's one there's one under this sticker right here uh, you take that sticker off, there's another screw there. Hey, no worries, Jonan. Catch you later, my friend. Appreciate you dropping by, and I will see you next time. And yes, and then so you, you will take this thing off, and then um, pretty much the, the board will come straight out. There will be um, the rumble attachment in either side of the um, hand uh, holds, and then it is as simple as uh when you get the board out just pop these off and uh and put them back on so i will do that um i shan't do it live on stream in case i absolutely um fumble it up um but uh because it looks like the screws are in pretty tight and uh, i don't want to i don't want to drop the contents of the controller <laughs> and then have to scramble to pick it all back up again um, but yes i'm going to be doing these uh pretty much directly after afterwards so hopefully um, I will be able to use them again and actually the the controller that did survive was my C3PO controller but that one's so beautiful it's too beautiful I'd rather rather uh, get my mitts on on these ones but yes so uh, from so from sick replacements for those for those controllers that was uh, that was my other pickup and of course the battery cover for this and the tool I required to do it with as well which is just about serviceable. Uh, you know, sometimes I buy cheap tools, and uh, you know, like I bought a cheap, uh, the cheap tools for like um, for like the Nintendo controllers. You, they have they have a particular tool you need to use them as well, and uh, you end up finding those things once you use them for a little bit uh, break. May well be the case with this one as well, um, but at least if it breaks after I fix the controllers, then I can use them again. So um, I will be back to doing. Uh, Umbrella Corpse Next time we meet which will be tomorrow at around about the same time my friends other than that um, Thank you for subscribing to the channel 
thank you for your patronage and for everything it just remains me to say if you like the video don't forget to leave a like or leave a comment to let me know what you think and of course if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and if you'd like to you can also support me on patreon or youtube channel membership it just remains me to say thank you for watching i have been mvl you guys are legends and i will catch you next time